If you're having trouble on defense in Madden 24, there's a good chance you might not even be using the right defensive playbook to start with. And if you're using the wrong defensive playbook, nothing else you do even really matters. So in this video, I'm going to go over the four best playbooks you can use in Madden 24 that has all of the best formations, and I'm going to even show you some different ways you can use them. So let's start with the first playbook, which is the Ravens playbook. Now, this list is going to go in order from worst to best. In my opinion, this is the worst of the four, but it is the most unique in my opinion. So the good thing about this playbook is it does have 3-4. It has 4-4 as well, which I do think is kind of sneaky underrated this year, especially against the run. It's a formation that's very easy to blitz out of. It's symmetrical, which also helps in disguising what you want to do. It's got some good zone coverages, and it's got some easy ways to bring pressure from off the edges. Then we get to nickel, which is the most important formation, I would say, in pretty much every med. It's the most balanced defensive formation. It can do well against the run. It's also really good against the pass. It's also versatile because typically you can sub safeties in at linebacker which is very important because safeties are better in coverage and get better interception animations so it has nickel 2-4 it has 2-4-5 double mug which is fine an easy formation to bring pressure out of with plays like mid blitz always kind of the most easy beginner blitz in the game if you want to bring pressure if your opponent's not blocking any extra guys which most people online don't like to do a play like mid blitz will get pressure right away but this is where it starts to get better. You have the nickel 3-3 cub, which is always the most popular formation in the game. It's one of the most balanced formations. Great against the run, great against the pass, great at bringing pressure. You have nickel 3-3 odd, which is not in a lot of playbooks, so that does make this playbook unique. And this is also another formation that might not be the most popular today as it was a few years ago but it is definitely still a good formation and you've got nickel triple which is another very unique formation you can bring some crazy pressure out of nickel triple with plays like nickel blitz plays like hot blitz three nickel blitz three you've even got nickel blitz two you can kind of bring pressure with the same look with different coverages cover two cover three man and this is actually a formation that while not the most popular some people do use it and it's one of those formations that you can really catch people off guard with because not a lot of people are used to going against it, but it brings some crazy pressure. But nickel 3-3 Cub is going to be something you want almost in every playbook you use just because it's so versatile with plays like Sam Will Blitz and Mike Blitz Zero. Very easy to bring pressure. This is another very beginner friendly blitz like the mid blitz that we just talked about if they're not blocking an extra guy you can bring quick pressure with this but the 3-3 cub also has every coverage style you can want cover three cover two cover four and you can really get creative then you've got dime which is also solid you've got dime one four and dime two three this is definitely not the playbook to be in if you want to run dime though this is kind of a different version of dime but you've got three different versions of it which is pretty unique so really with the ravens playbook this is on the list because of how unique it is. It has some of the meta formations, but it also has some unique formations that the other meta playbooks simply don't have. Now, really quickly, if you're still here at this point of the video and you haven't subbed yet, you might as well join the family. Go ahead and sub because you're already a part of the family anyway, whether you like it or not, if you're still here. That way you can stay up to date with all of the latest and best Madden tips to help you win more games. Next up is the Chiefs playbook, and this playbook has almost everything. It's a great hybrid playbook because it has 4-3 and it also has 3-4. So no matter what you like for under center, usually it's going to be a 4-3 or 3-4 when you're trying to stop the run or just bring some quick pressure off the edges. You've got the option to use both in this playbook. It also has Big Nickel, which is another really good formation. It's not the most meta, but some people like to use it. It's a really good balanced formation versus run and pass. It's easy to bring pressure off the edges with plays like SS Blitz 3 and plays like SS Blitz 2. You can really get creative with this formation. It's something that is actually really good to play match coverage out of with cover four quarters if you like playing match, which is a little bit more advanced, but this is just a really good formation. Then you get to your regular Nickel. You've got Nickel Over, which is always popular. It's got good blitzes in pretty much every style of coverage. You could want from cover two to cover three to cover three cloud and even cover six and then you've got nickel three three the only real knock on this playbook is it doesn't have the three three cub which is most people's favorite formation right now but it has the regular nickel three three which is also really good at bringing pressure and also gives you pretty much every coverage style you could want cover two cover three cover four even as a cover three buzz which is a little bit of a different style this is also easy to bring pressure off the edges as well so definitely something you would want to use if you're in this playbook but then you've got regular dime and you've got dollar and that's what really kind of elevates this playbook is you're not going to find many playbooks that have a 3-4 a 4-3 big nickel nickel 3-3 dime and dollar it has all of that stuff dime is really good this year i did a video on this formation specifically around the db blitz zero and this is just a very good defensive formation but you also have dollar which is probably the second most popular formation behind nickel 3-3 in fact it's probably about what and what they're probably even and this is just a formation that was really good last year still good this year with 
all different coverages but then you've got the blitzes like db fire 2 and the spinner which we'll even show right here so i mean just a popular setup for spinner is to base a line and press and then you know you'll want to put one of your linebackers in the coverage somewhere like this and then you kind of let this guy take a step forward and drop back into coverage and it just brings quick pressure off the edge and you can do that with the spinner play and you can do it with the cover two version the db fire to press but then you have all these different coverages that you can use as well you know it's just one of those things that you know this is just a, a good formation if you're good with your user you know you can kind of get in the gaps and help stop the run you know the run can work if you're not a good user but as long as you get in the gap and help out you can stop the run out of this as well now really quickly i do want to also mention that i have a patreon page where i post even higher level madden tips and my ebooks if you want to stop losing games and start winning them now make sure to check out that the link is in the pinned comment below next up we're going to look at the multiple defense playbook this is one of the generic playbooks it's not an actual team playbook and this is another one that's just loaded with a bunch of stuff so it's also a really good hybrid playbook because you have four three formations and you've got a bunch of three four as well so it's always good to have that but it also has five two which is a unique formation not found in a lot of playbooks not something a lot of people use nowadays but it's one of the formations it's super easy to bring pressure out of because you have five guys on the line and two linebackers so plays like pinch for example are another one of those quick blitzes that can bring instant pressure on your opponent and it also has a variety of different coverage shells as well then you get to nickel and this is where this playbook gets really good because you've got nickel over but you've got nickel 3-3 and nickel 3-3 cub and this is really the main thing that's going to make this playbook what it is because there's not a lot of playbooks where you can find nickel 3-3 and 3-3 cub and the reason this is actually really useful is because 3-3 cub is most people's favorite defensive formation for multiple reasons that i went over early in the video now you want to sub safeties in at linebacker because they're just so much better against the pass and they don't really suffer that much against the run well in the 3-3 cub you can only put a safety at your middle linebacker you can't put them at outside linebacker now in the nickel 3-3 you can put safeties at all three linebacker spots you're able to put in a safety at all these spots which i'll show you here we can put a safety at every single linebacker here and then what you can do what a lot of people do is they come out in the nickel 3-3 which i'll show you and then they quickly audible to 3-3 cubs so to audible you press x or square and then you just have to click your d-pad over one time and then boom you're in the nickel 3-3 cub that quick and so what happens here is when you blitz you have safeties who are faster and when you play coverage you have safeties who are going to cover better on the field so that is why this playbook is so useful because you can go from nickel 3-3 to the 3-3 cub and have the best personnel on the field but then you've also got dime and dollar as well so this playbook gives you some unique stuff in the heavier sets here but you also have the ability to go from 3-3 to 3-3 cub and you've got dime and you've got dollar all three of these are very popular formations in the game this playbook is without a doubt one of the best and now for the best playbook in the game the 4-6 alternate playbook so similar to multiple d this is not a team playbook it's one of the alternates and really i'll say between the 4-6 and the multiple d it is kind of preference i would say you could maybe say they're tied for the best but the thing that really makes 4-6 a little better in my opinion is the 4-6 formations because 4-6 has been always pretty good in Madden it's it hasn't been a go-to for some years but 4-6 bear 4-6 normal 4-6 bear under these are all formations that are good at stopping the run but also have some good coverage shells and they're also usually typically pretty easy to bring pressure out of again it hasn't been a go-to for some years now but if you're willing to be a little creative and be a little off meta this is pretty good to use in my opinion but you've also got three four bear which is cool you've got four four which we talked about earlier in the video is kind of sneaky underrated so you don't have any four three in this playbook but the four six kind of overtakes that if you're willing to really experiment with it and then you get to the nickel this is the only other playbook that you can go from nickel 3-3 to 3-3 cub in like we just talked about. So you have kind of the same nickel as the other playbook, but the 3-3 and 3-3 cub mixed with having 4-6. Also having big nickel because multiple D does not have big nickel. So that also gives this playbook a little bit of an edge. And you still got diamond dollar. So for me, 4-6 will slightly edge out multiple D for the simple fact that it kind of has all the same things. But you have big nickel, which multiple D doesn't have. You have 4-4 instead of 5-2, which I think 4-4 is a little better than 5-2. And you've got 4-6 instead of 4-3, but I personally think 4-6 is a little better than 4-3. So this is the playbook I would go with. It just has everything you need for any situation you could possibly face in Madden 24. Now that you got the best defensive playbooks, you're halfway there. Now you need to know about the actual best defense in the game, and you can check out that video right here on the screen.